Haleluya. 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 I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, I'm happy to be alive this morning and I'm grateful that you tune in to listen to me this morning. Believers, we thank God for what he has done in our life and what he continues to do in our life. We are not alive because of our wealth. We are not alive because of what we have. We are not alive because of our money. We are not alive because of our experience. We are not alive because of our position. We are alive because God says we should live. We are alive because it has been proposed for us to live. If you are listening to me this morning, anywhere you are, I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before I start everything, I would like to, to say to the whole world that the Kwafu ministry loves you and we will keep on bringing you uh, um, sermons on the Kwafu ministry each and every time. Don't worry where you are. Don't, don't, don't mind where you are seated now. I know we are in the challenging times. We are in the toughest time of, of, of this year 2020. But then I tell you that wherever you are, the word of God will reach you over there. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening to me once again. Before I start um, um, everything, I would like to acknowledge some people who have added much into my life. Uh, the likes of um, Mr. Elliot Agola and the family, uh, the lives of um, Pastor Jachi in Church of Pentecost, um, Apostle Stephen from Church of Pentecost, um, Apostle Samuel Adekusi from the Christ Apostolic Church International. They've, they've, they've really impacted into my life a lot. One person that I will never uh, um, speak without mentioning his name is my own father. Apostle Moses Ntokwafo from the Christ Apostolic Church International. This man of God who happens to be my father has, has been a lot of blessings to me. Have, have been a, 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 a lot of, 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 of blessings. I, I don't actually know how to say it. But then in my times where I, I lost my way from the principles of God, this man never laid me aside. As a son that I am to him, he took me and made sure that with the hands of God, he transforms me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to have a father like that. I'm not saying all this because he's my father, but because I know what he has done in my life for me. The Ebola family, I thank you so much. Um, for your impartation in my life since I came to South Africa. Um, my parent, my mom, um, uh, Mrs. Sylvia Ntokwafo. Um, so for mommy, I say, may God richly bless you for bringing me up to be as I am today. I, I will not leave my family, um, my, my siblings, who also be behind my back. They stood behind me. Even in times where everyone thought that this person have lost from the presence of God, they stood behind me and, and, and they made me feel like a family. All my friends out there, um, there is a brother that I will never leave him behind, um, Emmanuel Pepra. Um, I say, may God richly bless you. Um, Emmanuel Omari Dankwa, uh, Pastor Emmanuel Omari Dankwa from the Royal Gate Ministry. I say, may God bless you all. I will not leave, um, I, I'm not going to leave my family also behind. Um, Melissa Chuma and then um, Michaela Ntobia Kwafo. I say, may God reward you. May God bless you for helping coming together and making me who I am today. I thank God. Um, today, we are going to read the Bible. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to let all come together and learn the word of God today. The word of God that I want to share with you today 
is entitled you are going to land safely but use whatever you have in the year 2020 you are going to land safely no matter the storms no matter whatever you're going through today no matter how the world has become standstill no matter how the globe has become standstill today but I want to prophesy to you I want to tell you I want to minister to you that you will land safely at the end of the year 2020 safety is your portion but you have to use whatever you have this morning I will ask you what you have in your hands what have you gotten in your hands this year 2020 you will land safely but use whatever you have let us pray I am calling Lord calling on today wash me cleanse me by the blood that flows on Calvary Heavenly Father, we thank you, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor. God, we are coming to learn your word. We pray that I am an empty vessel. Work through me. Speak through me. And let me speak to your people. Your words are wisdom. Don't let me speak of my own words. Not of my own wisdom. Not of my own mind let your mind God this time that your children are all stuck in their rooms God we pray that speak to your children through me liberate your children through me we thank you we give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus have we prayed with this gift. amen we are going to read the book of Acts chapter 27 Acts chapter 27 this is where all our sermon is going to be based on Acts chapter 27 and we'll be reading verse 10 verse 23 verse 24 and verse 41 we're also going to add verse 42 43 and 44 hallelujah so if you have your Bibles I want you to turn with me to the book of Acts chapter 27 verse 10 reading upwards the book of Acts, the book of the Apostles. This year, you are going to land safely. But use what you have with you now. In the year 2020, safety is your portion. The year you are going to land safely. Don't worry about the storms, about the crisis. I'm here to tell you today. That you are going to land safely. The book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 says that my people are dying because they lack knowledge. And when you read down, it says that because you rejected a priest, I will not be a priest unto you. I will reject your children. Hallelujah. Hosea chapter let's let's take it again Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 my people are dying because they lack knowledge you re because you rejected knowledge you shall not be a priest unto me and I will reject your children in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 5 the Bible says that wisdom Get wisdom, get understanding. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 5. Get wisdom, get understanding. Get wisdom because wisdom is the principal thing in life. I studied the Bible and look at the first book of the Bible, Genesis. Genesis, the book of the origins. The book of Genesis, the book of the beginnings. Now, look at the context look at the word very well genesis if, if, if you take out the two alphabet that ends genesis it says that genes 
and it's spelled jeans g-e-n-e-s jeans if you bring it next to it with a space it says that jeans is hallelujah genesis jeans is and if you read the first content it says that in the beginning God in the beginning God hallelujah I want you to take your books and your pens because we are going to learn a lot join me with me uh, uh, and with you we are going to learn a lot this morning Genesis Genesis is in the beginning God now let's do a bit of science here what is genes or what are genes the scientists say that genes are out of which we get our dna genes are, 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 are which out of we get our dna now what is the dna how how do we get the dna before we can get our dna we need to take your blood sample and go to a laboratory and do scientific tests on it to get your DNA. In science, we say that genes, the importance of genes, your genes tells us where you come from. Once we are able to get your DNA test, we can tell where this person is coming from, whose you are, we are able to tell the family in which you come from. The genes is able to make us understand who is your father. When we are looking for your father, your genes can tell us who is your father. Your genes can tell us what family you are coming from. But in order to trace your genes, we must take your blood sample and test it. I want to put it to you this morning. That if Jesus Christ has came onto this earth and was strangled to death and resurrected on the third day, we would have had no salvation. Because salvation is not in his death. Salvation was not in his resurrection. If Jesus was strangled to death, we will be walking on the earth without salvation because the Bible says that the salvation was in his blood the blood that he shed for us on Calvary that is why he was supposed to be captured beaten hung on the cross and pierced on his side for the blood to ooze the blood that gushed out is what gave us salvation so this morning I want to tell you that we depend on the blood of Christ for our salvation way 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 back when men sinned after Genesis we depended on the blood of animals we depended on the blood of sheep to atone Christ to atone God but it was marvelous that when Jesus Christ came, I, 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 I always wonder the first place Jesus Christ visited when he came to the earth. He visited the animal's table. We, we, we have so many perceptions that they were running away, that they were poor, that they were this. But then in the Bible, a carpenter was not a poor person. Hallelujah. A carpenter was a very rich person in the Bible because it was one of the handiwork that was really respected in the Old Testament. So, they were not that poor. But then, the reason why he went to the animal's table was to tell the animals that long, for a very long time, men has been depending on your blood. But I have come. I have come with the blood that heals. I have come with the blood that washes 
more than uh, as snow more than the uh, 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 snow as whiter more than the snow i have come with that blood i have come with my blood to atone for my people that is why jesus christ visited the animal stream so we find in the book of acts which is um the preceding of jesus christ jesus christ preceding what was going to happen he said after the holy spirit has come upon you you shall receive power you shall move after the power hallelujah he said after the holy spirit has come upon you you shall move after you have the power you shall move so you must not move when you don't have the power you must move when the holy spirit has come upon you and you have the power that is when you shall move don't move until the holy spirit has come upon you don't move until it comes in john chapter 8 verse 31 he told them he said if you abide in my word you shall be my disciple hallelujah you shall be my disciple and you shall know the truth and the truth that you know i want to teach you something today you shall know the truth and the truth that you know if you apply it it shall set you free hallelujah if you apply the truth that you know why do i say this because a lot of people know the truth but if you know the truth and you do nothing about the truth it remains the truth nothing but the truth but if you apply the truth that you know if you apply the truth that you've gotten to understand if you apply the truth that the spirit has given unto you the truth that you've applied it shall set you free ye shall need the truth and the truth that you know if you apply it it shall set you free in john 10 10 he said the thief does not come unless he comes to steal to destroy and to kill till the holy spirit comes hallelujah till the holy spirit comes the thief does not come unless to steal to destroy hallelujah so the book of act is the book of the apostles as i have said earlier on it is the book that introduces us to the coming of the holy spirit it is the book that was authored by brother luke and it is a book that introduces us to a man that we are going to speak of today a man who is called the Paul of Tarsus Paul of Tarsus a man called Paul who originated or who came from Tarsus he was a man if you read the Bible he was a man who was against the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ because uh, um, 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 the, the book of Acts is the book that introduces us to the establishment of the church of God in Christ Jesus I want you to put this down the book of Acts the book of the Apostles is the book that introduces us to the establishment of God's church in Christ Jesus